Hi everybody, it's Wednesday the 30th of June and this is our English lesson for today. We're going to be focusing on a little bit of handwriting to begin with and then we are looking at some spellings today, looking at confusing words. So words that have EI and IE words. So for today you're going to need paper and pencil. To begin with, to start with your handwriting, we're looking at the letter T today. So if you can, have a go. Continue using the lines on your page and can you have a go at these four joins. This time now you've got six words. Can you add the TH to the start of these words? Make sure that you use your diagonal letter joins. Pause the video and have a go. And for the last part for your handwriting, it's can you add TTLE or TTY to the end of these words? Okay, so you've got five to try. Pause the video and have a go. Which would you add? So for this lesson today on spelling, we are looking at words spelt with either EI and IE in them. So using the rhyme, there is a famous rhyme to help us that some of you might already know, which is I before E except after C if the vowel sound rhymes with B. So we've got four parts here that we can use and we can look at. And we can see the first one here, we've got the word peace. And we would spell that with IE because the word rhymes with B. So it's IE before E. So any word that we think we don't know if it has EI or IE spelling in it, if it rhymes with B, then we do IE. Rhymes with B, however, but follow a C, do not. They go EI. So this is quite a tricky one to remember. So I before E except after C because the word deceive has a C before, so it would be EI. So it's quite a tricky rule to remember. But however, there are sometimes words that don't rhyme with B, so they have to be EI, like neighbor. And there are also words that don't doesn't rhyme with B because it follows a C, so we would do I before E, like scientist. So the big important thing to remember is that rhyme I before E except after C. If it rhymes with B, we put IE. If it rhymes with B but after a C, then we put EI. So let's have a look at some different activities that would involve these words. First, to begin with, you've got four pictures. Can you add the letters IE or EI to each of the words below so that they match the pictures? So having a think, you've got your helping starter there and an image. What word would go there? Use this part here to remind yourself. Pause the video and have a go. Here are your answers. We had shriek which was IE, shield, which was IE, field, which was IE, and weight, which was EI. Well done if you managed those. Next activity, again, can you complete the words below using either EI or IE? What do you think they would be? And again, use the little table here to help remind you. Really remember that rule, I before E except after C. Pause the video and have a go. Here were your answers. We had ceiling, EI, priest, IE, receive, EI, relieve, IE, grief, IE, believe, IE, conceive, EI, and deceive, EI. Well done if you managed to get those. For the next activity, you've got a word mixed up. Can you make an IE word out of the letters in each of the rubber rings? So what IE word can you make? Pause the video and have a go.
Here are your answers. The first word was peace. The second word was thief. And the third word was chief. Here we've got looking at some words that don't follow that rule now. So some words don't follow the I before E rule. Here's an example, the word protein. It has the rhymes with B, but it doesn't have IE, it has EI. So there are some tricky words sometimes that even though you think they would, they don't follow the rule. And with these ones, you just have to try and learn these words. So for the activity for this one, it says fill in the gaps in the sentences below using the correct words from the box. So not all words in the box are spelt correctly. So we've got relieved. OK, which is the correct spelling of relieved and which sentence matches that word? Which sentence would that word best fit in? So you need to choose the right spelling and the sentence it goes with. Pause the video and have a go. Here are your answers. First one, you will be relieved to hear what that we won. Our neighbour complained that my violin practice was too loud. My best friend is called Emma. We must seize this opportunity to improve our results. Well done if you managed to get those. This is our last activity on our spellings. You've got a word search on the right and it says, can you solve the clues below? and then find the answers in the word search. Or you could do the opposite. Can you find some words that use EI correctly and do they fit? So an example with our first one, the clue is something found in tea and coffee. So you can use the word search to help you. What would be the spelling that would be in these missing parts? Pause the video and have a go. And here were your answers. Something found in tea and coffee is caffeine with an EI. A piece of paper showing what you bought is a receipt. A person who steals is called a thief. Your sister's daughter is a niece. And if something, if something doesn't take very long, it's brief. So there were your missing words. Well done if you managed to solve them and find them in the word search. So that's the end of our spelling lesson and our handwriting. But what we'd like you to do now is go to the links to go to Street Child on the Oak Academy and see if you can carry on doing some activities with what we've read on Street Child. And that's your English lesson for today. Well done and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.